Kaji, owner of Ironstone County Corso's Kennel. I've been up and running since uh, 2013. Well, I got established in 2013. Very passionate about the breed. I enjoy the dogs. I'm a hobbyist. Like, I spend a lot of time with my dogs on my back. I'm bonding and I'm doing things like that. So that's where I come up with like the type of breedings that I want to do. Like behind each breed, I never just breed two dogs together. Behind each breed, you know, what I do is always a. Uh, uh, I'm trying to accomplish something out of it. So this for the floor too to insulate the puppies. But I just burn it, give her the uh, DD one, uh, so it's in her system, and I also give it to the puppies as well. It was helping to clear out any parasites that they're gonna come across. So just like, it's a process. So I do it in two weeks, uh -huh. then I do it at four weeks, and then I, at six weeks, I do it at six weeks, and one day, six weeks, and two days, six weeks, and three days, I do it back to back to back. And it, it, it guarantees it clears up any parasite. Uh -huh. I base my I program off of uh, for that bloodline. The reason I did that, I went outside the box. I just wanted strictly, like, I guess, right, right to the motherland or where the dog come from to get it to, to, to make it my program because that's where it come from. So I rather start with some of the other lines because just it's, it's, it's truly the Italian tradition. You know what I'm saying? It, it was considered a cat. It's a catch dog, a farm dog. So we do it for. Uh, different things. Some use it just to protect their land. They did used to fight the dog back in centuries ago. They fought the dog. That's what made the dog kind of like popular. Like, so whatever dog that was like really like went along the fight, the majority of all the other farmers would take their dog there to breed their female dogs with this particular dog because he's winning the matches. And they kind of like got a tight fight then and there. My question to people is, it's today's Connie Corso, yesterday's Neo, because that's what it seemed like uh, we breathe, yesterday's Neo, which yesterday's Neo was a, a tighter dog, more, like structurally built, can move, it got good movement. It was a nice dog back then, not today, but back then. The Connie Corso shouldn't be the next uh, pit bull, because that's not what the dog really uh, brand for. Oh, that's the dog that I want to breed. I import all my stuff in because I wanted to be different than the rest. I wanted to be different, have different lines of dogs because uh, the American dogs, everybody was breeding off the same lines. So I just went outside the box. Me and my partner, which is tough, you know, we got a, kind of like the same program. Like, you know, when you in doing these type of things, like uh, with breeding, like it's also good to go outside of what you doing and talk to others. Then that's if they uh, uh, you know talk to you. Sometimes you got to learn and build from others. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I got a lot of few good brothers and sisters that I talk to on a daily basis about those and, and, and get that collective. Something I may don't understand or may, I, I haven't came across. So I may reach out and ask someone else and get their opinion and see what they think or if they can help me out with it. And I take it and I use it. If it, if it works for me, I'm going to continue to use it because it helped me in a... Uh, then so it's gonna help me in the long run as well. So I, you know, I keep that in my mental. We get together, we have board meetings and meetings. We get together, we vote. Okay, let's have the cookout on this date. Uh, we all donate out our own pockets. We don't really ask. Like some people do ask. Like it's a lot of genuine people that like they send money. It's a trainer, my uh, Charles. He's from like Virginia. He trained dogs. He's a county court soul enthusiast. Uh, like, hey Reggie, I ain't gonna make it, but here you go. I'm shooting you this money. People like him, uh, like they believe in what we do, and like each year, each turnout be great. We offer more than just puppies. Like, I want to offer information, which I do. Another person that helped me is my youngest daughter. She's very sharp. Like, I think she should be a veterinarian. Like, she know. Like, like, she know. She she helps me a lot with it. So. I do a lot for the breed. I try to like all positive things. It's like it's a lot of negative things that could come in the breed, but I try to stay positive and keep a, po a positive community of people around me, so we can grow as people and, and within a breed, within a community. 
how has your experience been with the dog within itself and just dealing with me in general? Everything's been just fine. I mean, anything I need to ask or you recommend it for the dog, you have, you have been very knowledgeable at giving us information on it. As far as your dog that you got from me, um, how has he been for you and your family? Oh, he's, he's been very well. He's a very loving dog. And he's very affectionate. Mm -hmm. And very playful. Mm -hmm. With people in the house. Yeah, with people in the house and the front desk. But so, if he doesn't know you, he, he will he will shoot him teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's, a, he's a protector. So he's very protective over you guys, everybody in the house. Yes. Right, he does his job. I love your business. I love how you run it. Um, that's one thing I tell everybody that I refer you to or anyone who asks about Yoshi is that like one, he's a beautiful dog. Um, but two, like the customer service dealing with you, um, you get like to bond, build a bond with your dog before you even get the dog. That's one thing I praise, praise, praise and tell everyone about is like as soon as I put my, the costume already and I named my dog, he made sure like on the weekly. I had some interaction with my dog, whether it was pictures, whether it was videos, FaceTime. I really love that you was patient with me because this is my first time with the breed. And I love that you would sit there no matter, because I, I remember one point in time, I think we was on the phone for like well over an hour. And you sit and answer all my questions having to do with the breed, um, the things that I would need, training. So uh, experience with your kennel directly is all in all a great one. Uh, thank you for joining me at my estate. We're dedicated to producing top quality Connie Corso with, with impeccable temperament and health. Our commitment to excellence shines through in every aspect of our breeding program, whether you're looking for a loyal companion, a show prospect, or a working partner. We have the perfect county Corso for you. Visit our website or give us a call at 301-806-3320. You can visit me on Facebook at Reggie Ironstone, on Instagram at Ironstone uh, Kennels, on TikTok at Ironstone Kennels, and on YouTube at Ironstone County Corsos in the Den. Thank you for joining. Peace.